Who? Who could possibly understand marriage less than a group of men who have promised never to marry? But those men whose world headquarters is in Vatican City can't stop talking about marriage even though they have taken a vow that prevents them from actually knowing anything about marriage. On Christmas Eve, the Vatican newspaper published an editorial about same-sex marriage, which, like everything in the Vatican newspaper, was virtually dictated by the Pope. It says same-sex couples are, in quote, a different reality than heterosexual couples because same-sex couples cannot biologically reproduce. (laughs) In fact, of course, this puts them in exactly the same reality as the millions and millions and millions of heterosexual couples who cannot biologically reproduce, many of whom marry many years after the age at which the woman could have a baby. The Vatican sees nothing wrong with heterosexual couples who cannot biologically reproduce getting married. As support for marriage equality increases around the world, the Vatican is getting panicky. The Vatican is now claiming that same-sex marriage is a socialist plot that is, quote, deceiving humanity as socialism did in the past. Never mind that Jesus Christ was the original socialist feeding the poor, railing against the money changers in the temple, and never mind that the most hardcore socialist practitioner of all time was also viciously anti-gay. Fidel Castro, who began life as a Roman Catholic, became the world's most extreme practitioner of socialism when he led a rebellion in Cuba to overthrow a cruel dictator and then eventually become a cruel dictator himself. In Fidel Castro's socialist utopia, gay sex was a criminal act. Castro rounded up gays and lesbians and sent them to re-education camps. Castro believed he could actually rid his country of all homosexuality, and he did everything in his power to achieve that. So no, socialism has not been a special friend to gay people around the world. Meanwhile, the Catholic Church, which this week seems to want to pretend it is suddenly threatened by socialism, has thrived in socialist countries around the world. Maybe not Cuba, but socialist countries where, say, the Vatican is located, for example. Yes, Italy is a socialist country, as is every country in Europe, as is every country in the world to varying degrees. The United States of America, where the movement toward marriage equality is gaining support every day, is actually far less socialistic than many, many countries where marriage equality is making little or no progress. So big surprise, the Vatican is wrong once again, and the guys who have taken a lifetime vow to remain tragically ignorant about marriage have proven once again that they know nothing about marriage. And just for the heck of it, they prove that they don't know much about socialism either.